The Spectacular Spider-Man number 190, which was published in 1992, witnessed an epic confrontation between Spider-Man and the Rhino. The cover does not represent what really happens in this book. During a night in New York City, the super-powered villain known as the Rhino appears heading somewhere. He says that he just wants the job done to get the cash to change his whole life. Rhino got a signal from the Green Goblin to take out a target. Suddenly, he is spotted by police officers who mistake him for the Hulk and decide to take him. Rhino, however, charges at the car and knocks it away. The officers then open fire on Rhino, who decides to ignore them and gets the job done. Meanwhile, Peter Parker can't sleep and goes out for a walk. He remarks that Harry Osborn is in custody and that he can't hurt anyone. But the problem is that he knows that Peter and Spider-Man are the same person and the whole world could know the secret. Suddenly, the spider sense goes off as the rhino charges at Peter who barely avoids the attack. Peter then pretends to be panicked and takes the hit. He plays the helpless victim to know what rhino wants. Peter begs Rhino not to hurt him and to take his money, but Rhino surprises Peter when he calls him by name and says that he knows his secret and that soon everyone's gonna know. Still playing dumb, Peter angers the Rhino enough to throw him through a fence into a construction site. Rhino says that Peter's secret is out and that he will never be safe again. Peter quickly changes to Spider-Man and attacks the Rhino. Enraged, Spidey says that he had enough with all the villains invading his life and threatening his beloved ones. He picks up Rhino and tosses him away then starts pounding on him, saying that he is not going to take any more from anyone. He is tired of being manipulated and tired of Osborn's threats hanging over his head. He severely beats the helpless Rhino and says that he will fight all the creeps who try to destroy his life. He will kill anyone who tries to threaten him or his beloved ones. The beaten Rhino explains that this has nothing to do with Spider-Man, but Peter Parker. He says that the Goblin paid him to scare Peter and to send a message, but he did not know what that message was and he didn't really care. He just took the job to earn some money and to get home to his family. Rhino swears that he did not want to get involved with Spider-Man and that he doesn't have anything against Parker. He just did it for his family. Spider-Man says that Rhino should have thought about Parker's family before taking the job and knocks him out. He then webs up the Rhino and leaves him hanging from the hook of a crane. This fight truly really shows how powerful and dangerous Spider-Man can be when he doesn't hold back. But at the same time, I think that the writer severely depowered the Rhino as he should have put a better fight before he goes down. Let me know what you think about this fight and don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.